The Dominators come to town in Green Lanterns issue 8. So acting as both a filler and setup to the Phantom Ring event that will be happening in the Green Lantern books very soon. This issue is also a Halloween themed issue and the story really complements it. Seeing as two rogue Dominators come to Earth and terrorize a town in search of the Phantom Ring. And since it's Halloween, they and the Lanterns are free to walk around the streets without causing heads to turn. We also stop in with Rami, the rogue guardian who holds the Phantom Ring. The ring's origins are also kind of explored this issue and we learn that the ring can channel all spectrum energies as well as accept any wielder. I think using what is essentially a filler issue to act as a prologue to the next event is actually pretty smart and something I don't think any of the other DC Rebirth books are actually doing uh, since a lot of the issues 7 or 8 were kind of just one-off storylines uh, like the Superman one which was just a one-off storyline one of him and his family going to a fair. This leaves the story to get right to the point without any unnecessary stopping to dump exposition on the reader and we won't get those issues where they literally just stop all the action and just explain why you know this person is after something or what this thing does I think it's a great concept that they're doing I can't wait to read the Phantom Ring storyline and all the characters it will involve such as Kyle Rayner who hasn't actually been seen since the end of Omega Men where he faked his death so I'm intrigued to see what he's been up to since the rebirth of this new DC universe I'm gonna give this book a 9 out of 10 Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.